Well, it's the morning of day four, and the first thing I'm gonna do this morning before I fire the dryer up is get the dryer to control my blower system, and I just didn't hook that up. I didn't have enough time, I was in a hurry. So I had to just remove a couple panels, and we're gonna get that hooked up. And we have a special guest. <laughs> Where's your sandals? I know, I forgot them. How's it going? Good. How are you? Scott Drager. Scott's gonna run this blue tractor. What do you think about this blue tractor? You're not very green. Yeah, you're, he's a John Deere guy. All right, jump in there. He did wear a blue shirt. He wore a blue shirt and a blue hat. I know what you were doing. I think he got it. Oh, Scott, he's got her. We just did a quick little lesson on how to draw, uh, run that. And uh, he's a farm kid, so he'll, he'll catch on real quick. But the dryer's not getting up to temperature this morning. It's very cold out. The corn is probably very cold. So I've just been kind of hanging around the farm here, making sure that uh, we don't leave and something's wrong with the dryer. On the road again. There's Scott's first. We're not unloading on the go yet, but there's Scott's first uh, load he's getting there. We're just getting this field opened up and we can start getting him unloading on the go. Well, I found me a little mud. I got my diff lock on. We're sliding. Yeah. Scotty's doing it. Look at that. First time unloading on the go with him. Guy's a natural. I think he's hired. What do you guys think? You want to see more of Scott? We can have him come up every uh, harvest season and every planting season to see what he can do for planting. That'd be kind of fun. I keep plugging up here. There's some corn on the other end that's not very good. In a spot where it's real gravelly and real dry. And it's plugging up. There. I don't know. Hopefully that goes through. It's really a pain in the butt. Here in natural, is this some sort of job interview? Yeah, you want my resume? Yeah, it's a rigorous hiring process around here. I have a slow hurdle time. <laughs> that puts you in the maybe category right off the bat. Look at Scott filling that truck up perfectly. Beautiful. So do you want to tell everybody on YouTube the last time you drove a green cart? Look who decided to show up today. Well, well, come for the fun stuff. Yeah. Hey, look what I wore today. Are they the same? I think so. <laughs> Our futures are looking bright. Yes. Waiting on a truck. Well, Scott and Ethan are out combining and we just grabbed some lunch and Russell and I are gonna go hook up that other bin with that air pipe so that we can switch over because the first bin we've been blown into the last couple days is almost full. That's gonna be it. We're just gonna, we don't have enough pipe or clamp to just hook it all up. So we're gonna have to disassemble some of that other pipe, uh, which won't take very long. So we'll shut the dryer down for a few minutes, move it over, fire it right back up, fill this bin up. All right, I'm just gonna get this truck up to the field for the boys. Uh, we got that pipe pretty much on. Now we're just gonna wrap up filling that bin, uh, but I'll keep this wet bin going so the dryer doesn't run out of corn. I'm gonna try to drive and shift with one hand for you guys. My Uncle Dennis, he's all caught up behind the combine already with our pro till working corn stalks in, so. I had to send him home. He said he had to take an early retirement, so some days you just gotta do that.
cooking some corn. We just got switched from that bin to this bin. We just hooked that little pipe up. I had the dryer shut down for a second, but we got to restart it. And we are filling fast. All filled up, ready to go. Scott, What's up? what did you think of running Brinker? This is just bad. No. Now, do you like New Holland tractors? Oh, let's not jump at you. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you can't come to our farm. You, you wore know, a blue you, shirt and a blue hat. You put the yellow and the blue together, you wind up with green. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> All right. Thanks for helping. You bet. I'll be back. Back in the green cart, chasing the combine. We're opening up this 85 acre field. We just got to finagle around a little bit because uh, he's working on some headlines over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's just not a lot of room. So this is how we're doing it right now. I see your blinky lights. I'm coming. I just going to keep going until the cab was full. We should put some buckets on the cab. We can get another bushel or two in there. Doesn't get much better than that view right there, guys. It's amazing. All right, well, we just opened up another field here. We're gonna get this off. We have two small fields, uh, like a, two five acre fields to do yet tonight. And I think I'm gonna call it a night. That's all we're gonna do. That's it for harvest day four, I think. We'll see you tomorrow for day five. Thanks for watching.